Hello, it's Diggory Haydock here from the Vintage Gun Journal and today we're looking at a transitional gun uh, patented by the maker who is J.V. Needham a Birmingham gun maker very important in his, uh, in his day he actually patented the first workable ejector which was later taken up over by Greener when Greener bought his company and that um, launched the Greener type ejectors that then uh, predominated in that company for the next you know 20 or 30 years but this is somewhat earlier than that it's it falls into the period where the hammer gun was still the standard gun of the day and locks were not yet rebounding by rebounding I mean when the hammer falls um, it automatically springs back off the strikers um, enabling the gun to be opened without manipulation of the hammer first so non-rebounding locks of course require that the first movement is to take the hammer back to half cock in order that the strikers are not held into the cap of the cartridge preventing the gun from falling open when the operating lever is manoeuvred. So here we have one of a series of what we call self half cocking actions. The side lever here which you can see has a spur here which corresponds with a spur on the hammer. When that lever is depressed which we'll try and do now there we go you can see that it moves back to an interim position that is full cock and there's the striker so by depressing the lever the first movement of the lever has moved this hammer back to the half cock position it also pull that back to full cock as well it also at the further at the, the further depression of its travel releases the bolt so we'll have a look at that now and enables the gun to fall open we can now see the surface on the lump which is engaged by the bolt. When the gun shuts the hammer falls back into its place so it's a snap action. Here's the other side you can see that the the lever on the other side obviously runs through the action there and this corresponds to the spur on the hammer on the other side of the lock. It's an interesting gun, another feature of this gun is the, the hinge pin here which needs to be removed in order to take the gun apart so that needs to be knocked through, the forend doesn't come off using any catches which later become normal um, so you do need tools to take this gun into, into three pieces but it's a high quality piece still in remarkably good condition by JV Needham his patent self half cocking hammer gun <laughs>